This video lecturette is about transitions. By the end of this video, you will be able to answer the following questions. What are transitions? When do you use transitions? How do you know which transition to use? What are some examples of transitions? And how do you use transitions between paragraphs? Let's begin by defining transitions. Transitions are words or phrases that connect two ideas, sentences, or paragraphs. They help your writing flow more smoothly so it doesn't seem to your reader like you're jumping from topic to topic. Transitions work by showing the relationship between your ideas. So when would you use transitions? While in writing, you should use transitions in two basic places, either between your sentences or between your paragraphs. We will go over examples of both of these types of transitions in this video. How do you know which transition to use? Well, that depends on the relationship between your ideas. This chart shows some types of relationships between sentences or paragraphs. Are you adding? Are you showing an example? Are you talking about a cause and effect? Are you comparing two things? Depending on the relationship, you will choose a transition that fits that relationship. It is probably a good idea at this point to pause the video, copy down this chart in your notes, and then resume once you've copied down these transitions. So let's look at some examples of transitions between sentences to really see how transitions work. While I'm writing, I might write these two sentences in a paragraph. Loyalty expresses itself in many ways. A grown dog often cannot adjust to having a new owner. Now, without a transition, these might seem like I'm talking about two completely different things. But really, the dog not being able to adjust to a new owner is an example of how loyalty can express itself. So a good transition there would be, for example. So now my paper would read, loyalty expresses itself in many ways. For example, a grown dog often cannot adjust to having a new owner. Now my reader can clearly see the connection between these two ideas. Here's another example. There are multiple methods and products available to help people lose weight. Many people are still overweight in America. Without a transition here, it sounds like I'm contradicting myself. First, I'm talking about how many products there are for people to lose weight, but then I'm saying that people are overweight. Here, this is an example of two ideas that are contrasting. So I need to pick a transition that shows that they're opposites. So I could use however. And so now these two sentences read, there are multiple methods and products available to help people lose weight. However, many people are still overweight in America. And now the relationship between these two sentences makes sense. Let's look at another example. In today's economy, many people cannot afford their car payments or to even put gas in their vehicles. More people are taking public transportation. Now, these two sentences don't seem as far apart or not as related as in the other examples, but I still need a transition to help guide my reader through my train of thought here. So here I'm talking about cause and effect. The economy has caused people to use more public transportation. So a good example would be therefore. So now my sentences should say, in today's economy, many people cannot afford their car payments or to even put gas in their vehicles. Therefore, more people are taking public transportation. So we've seen so far how to put transitions between sentences, but you also need to put transitions between your paragraphs. Usually when you're starting a new paragraph, you're going, you're starting a completely new main idea. So if you don't transition between your paragraphs, it really does seem like you're jumping from topic to topic. There are two ways to put transitions between paragraphs. The first is to summarize the previous paragraph. So in this example, let's say that I'm writing an essay about my favorite genres of, move, of music. So I might have a transition like this. Although rock music employs intricate sound patterns, country music explores life more directly. The previous paragraph was about why I liked rock music, why I liked rock music, and this next paragraph is going to be about why I like country music. So I summarized very briefly in just a phrase the previous paragraph before introducing my new topic. The other way I can transition between paragraphs is to restate the main topic at the beginning of the paragraph. In the same essay about the genres of music I like, that might look like this. Another genre of music I enjoy is country music. 
this method is a little bit simple um, and it's really easy. It's a lot easier to do and it's perfectly fine if this is the method you want to choose. Um, although if you have a long essay, if you start every essay with another genre of music I enjoy is, it will start to get a little bit boring to your reader. So I would caution you about not overusing this particular method of transitioning between paragraphs. So as we've seen, transitions are placed between your ideas, your sentences, and your paragraphs. The transition you choose depends on the relationship between your ideas. And when transitioning between paragraphs, the two easiest way to do that are to either restate your main topic or summarize the previous paragraph.